Hey guys, today it is the 14th of July. My name is Jess McDonnell and you're watching GameSpot News. A blog post landed from Star Wars Battlefront developer DICE, which answers some of our burning questions about the upcoming shooter. Community manager Matthew Everett has confirmed that split screen play, which will only be supported in missions mode, will be available on Xbox One and PS4. So no split screen on the PC version. Missions is the mode where you fight off waves of AI enemies, solo or co-op. Basically, it's a horde mode. Everett also discussed how vehicles will work in the game, explaining, in Walker Assault, vehicles are tied to the power-up system. When you find a vehicle power-up on the map, you will need to activate it which immediately spawns you inside the vehicle. Vehicle power-ups specifically must be used within a certain amount of time. He added that Y-Wing bombers are support vehicles only and are not player controlled, and that while missions won't grant you multiplayer career experience, they will give you credit rewards that you can spend on unlocks. Things appear to be going from worse to insulting for the relationship between Konami and Kojima Productions, as Konami have removed all mention of Hideo Kojima and his studio from Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain box art. In March of this year, Konami removed Kojima branding from the artwork and marketing material for both Metal Gear Solid V Ground Zeroes and The Phantom Pain. But up until now, The Phantom Pain's actual box art had remained untouched. Where previous assets featured the Kojima Productions logo and the line, A Hideo Kojima Game, the final versions of the box art carry no mention of Kojima. This news has come just days after Otsuka Akio, Snake's Japanese voice actor, said that the studio was disbanded. Konami had also previously removed Kojima Productions' branding off the Silent Hills website before that project was cancelled. For a timeline of all the Konami Kojima drama collated in one place, head to our story on GameSpot. The prototype Biohazard bundle was announced today, which includes HD remasters of both installments of the dark open world action game for Xbox One and PS4. Activision have released an action-packed, mutated protagonist heavy trailer to get you in the mood for the upcoming remaster bundle. The publisher have promised full HD visuals, an improved frame rate, and increased texture resolution. The bundle is actually out right now, but Acti have also announced that you can pick up each game individually in their new and improved current-gen form on August 11. Let me know down in the comments if you're keen to play Prototype again or if you think HD remasters are just a cash grab. You can head to GameSpot for stories on how the PS4 benefits Uncharted and Naughty Dog's low expectations for The Last of Us. That is everything I wanted to tell you about today. Let me know down in the comments what mattered to you and I will catch you tomorrow.